Well, the Shaq is back, and he's definitely taking it back. All his flat earth statements that he said. Uh, we have a title here from uh, CBS Sports uh, with the NBA. Shaq was apparently trolling everyone when he made his flat earth comments. Well, we're going to get into this article a little bit because there's really two ways to go on this. And I find it a little bit suspicious the way that uh, this is coming out. Now, don't get me wrong. Either, you know, Shaq was joking around. The question is, why is he? You know, maybe to make everything look stupid. The fact is, he got massive amount of publicity. I mean, this is the type of thing. The media does not report on this unless a big name comes forward. So, if he was looking to sabotage the movement, in ways, he basically made the grassroots movement grow even stronger in the sense that more people are going to be looking into it and coming across videos. But let's go through this. Like I said, I'm going to ask you guys what you guys think. And again, these are just my opinions. I'm not saying conclusively this is what it is but i definitely have my theories on what's going on and uh, let's read uh, a little bit more so we can kind of figure out what's going on here finally some reason and sense on the flat earth thing it's weird that they always basically put flat earth you know small f big e but anyways i see this in all the articles anyways finally some reason and sense on the flat earth thing after kyrie irving came out at the all-star weekend and said he believed the earth was flat which some still believe had to be part of some marketing campaign. Shaquille O'Neal followed up by saying he, too, believed that everything science tells us about the shape and physics of the planet is a lie. But now it turns out that on a podcast appearance, the big Aristotle says he was messing with people. Here's the transcription. Harger, what's going on with the flat earth thing? Are you just messing with everyone with that? O'Neal, no, the earth is flat. Would you like to hear my theory? Harbinger, yeah, tell me about it. O'Neill, the first part of the theory is, I'm joking, you idiots. That's the first part of the theory. The second part is, I said jokingly that when I'm in my bus and I drive from Florida to California, which I do every summer, it seems to be flat. Which, I'm in my plane and we're getting ready to land and I open up the window and I'm looking at all the land that we're flying over. It seems to be flat. This world we live in, people take things too seriously. But I'm going to give the people answers to my test, he said. Knowing that I'm a funny guy, if something seems controversial or boom, 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 you've got to have my funny points on, right? So now, once you have my funny points on, that should eradicate and get rid of all your negative thoughts, right? That's what you should do when you hear a Shaquille O'Neal statement, okay? You should know that he has funny points right over here. And what did he say? Boom, boom, boom. Add the funny points. You either laugh or you don't laugh. But don't take me seriously. When I want you to take me seriously, you will know by the tone of my voice that I'm being serious. <laughs> Sounds to me in that podcast, he was pretty serious when he said, no, it's flat. I mean, he seems serious. So now we're supposed to look at Shaq and everything he says. And most times he's joking. And apparently we'll know when he's serious. But let's continue. No, I don't think that, O'Neill told Harbinger of the Flat Earth. It was a joke, okay? So, know that when Shaquille O'Neal says something, 80% of the time I'm being humorous, and it's a joke. And 20% of the time I'm being serious. But when I'm being serious, you'll know. You want to see me seriously? See me and Charles Barkley going back and forth on TNT. That's when I'm mad and when I'm serious. Other than that, you're going to have to get that out of me. So, I was just joking, people. The Earth is not round. It's flat. I mean... The earth is not flat, it's round. So Shaq does not fundamentally reject the basis for all planetary science regarding earth. Good to know. The bigger points here speaks to something trickier. Essentially, players, current and former, have such a built-in distrust of the media and the current environment based on quotes being taken out of context and how every little thing is extrapolated into a controversy combined with a natural predisposition as both athletes and multi-millionaires to want to agitate situations that they routine, routinely walk the line between being serious and messing with us. The only time this gets straightened out is if money is involved. If a player is at risk of losing a job or endorsement money, then all of a sudden the jokes stop. But there's a little bit of duplicitous and honesty at times patronizing tone taken by a lot of players. If they don't take the media seriously, if they make them look like fools, then they can disregard and diminish anything that the media reports. And the media is handcuffed because all they can do is report on what the players say. And if they sound serious when they say it, it has to be reported that way. Is much 
of this the result of sensationalistic news environment driven by an ever demanding and ever evolving audience dynamic absolutely but it makes trying to figure out what players really say and don't say an all impo an almost impossible task anyways there you go shack believes the earth is round Anyways, very, very strange, uh, this article coming out, the way it's written, the way Shaq basically says 80% of the time he's joking. Uh, the only time is when he's angry, apparently, when he's going back and forth on TNT. And we have to really start dissecting this. Now, some people will say, oh, you know, this is terrible. He's going back on it, and this is disastrous. And you can look at this, you know, in one of two ways. But I look at it like it's absolutely not a disaster. Somebody like Shaquille O'Neal even coming out with it, and all the journalists and everyone running around trying to figure out what's going on, writing articles, it's just a, so much more exposure. I mean, you have so many different reports. You've got podcasts going on. You've got radio shows. You just, like, like uh, you know, Mark Sargent says this a lot of times. I mean, you can not buy this type of marketing exposure you just can't so again you've got like a list celebrities coming out and saying it again it doesn't really matter and at the end of the day did we really want Shaq uh, to be the spokesperson whether he believes in it or not again you know he is a mason we all know this right and at the end of the day it's dangerous for any one person to be kind of the pioneer or someone to look at as, hey, they're the driving force and it's like, wow, we've got, you know, our celebrity. That's always dangerous because, again, power can be held, you know, in one one person and it can always be dangerous. So for me, I look at it this way that, you know, it's still good exposure. It's out there. Sure, he was joking. But then, like even the article says, at least one to wonder, when are they being serious? When are they joking? The, the fact is that Kyrie has not gone back on it. Um, you know, Damon, these guys haven't gone back on it. These guys are asking serious questions. You'll say, hey, do the research yourself. So for me, I look at this as a great thing overall. Um, it's either basically that, that it was all a joke, or the other way we can look at this is that he has had massive pressure. He's had massive pressure, not just from maybe his inner circles, maybe from his messianic circles that ones that are higher up are saying, hey, knock that off. You know, uh, for whatever reason, I mean, you could look at it a very sinister way, uh, you know, in the conspiratorial way. You could even look at it as endorsements, uh, marketing, advertisers could say that this is going to affect children. Uh, you know, you're a role model. You're doing damage this way, especially the credibility of all science. Um, it could just be a lot of pressure and he's coming out because when you go to this article and I'll put the link in the uh, description so you can, you know, uh, look at it yourself. It's really written strange i mean even quoting Shaq, the way he says it i mean he could come out and say haha it was hilarious and and go on that and the fact is he just goes around in circles it's like uh 80% of the time I'm joking and 20% of the time I'm serious. And, you know, so I don't know if, if there's hidden messages in there that he's trying to convey something there. There's ways to look at it, I'm sure. You know, at the end of the day, if he was 100% for it and the entire media was focused on it, the fact that he is a Mason, could it be disastrous? Could he be making it? Could he have an agenda making it look stupid or something? Possibly. But at this point in the game, the idea is to get as many people looking into this as possible. And having someone like this or other sports stars or celebrities or musicians or it doesn't really matter the fact is they've got millions of followers and this will create people looking for themselves and asking these questions about the horizon about curvature rates about you know um there was a, a great podcast i'm going to actually uh mirror it i think it's with the uh, yeah mark Sargent, um you know on a boston podcast and he does a phenomenal job and at the end of the actual podcast while they're laughing and ridiculing it at the end they're like you know what you got me thinking, you know, I'm going to look into this a little bit more. Mark does a great job at just bringing up certain, you know, he had a very short time, but he did a great time articulating and just getting people to really, you know, in a concise way, start questioning things. Say, hey, those are some good points. I'm going to look into those further. And that's all we're doing. All we're doing is encouraging people to, hey, go do your own research. Look into this. Is this so crazy? Uh, is there a reason that so many people are, you know, starting to, to come to this, to look into the facts and not to believe just what they're told. And so for me, this is not bad news. It'll be interesting to see how it continues on to see if uh, Shaq talks a bit more about it. But if he's going to come out and say the whole thing was a joke, I'm sorry. You usually would say the punchline at the end during that podcast. You know, again, it's kind of cruel for someone to do that as an experiment. It's actually dishonest. It's not right. And it, it, to me, it is uh, below what Shaq would do 
uh, even on a podcast. Yeah, I'm sure he would have someone going, but ah, I had you going, you know, you fell for that. Of course, I don't believe it's flat, you but much of morons. Of course, it's round, you know, and away he'd go. But the way that he talks, it's just very intriguing. Now, a lot of people are going to blow this up and they're going to go all different directions. And sure, that's great. Go any direction you want. He's a mason. He's part of the system. It's he's controlled opposition. Do whatever you want. The reality is at this point, he's not pointing someone to a, a particular group, person, uh, idea. He is just coming out and saying this and everyone's running with it. They're talking about flat earth everywhere. So hopefully more interviews will be conducted. Hopefully the media will be serious enough to say, hey, let's look into this a little bit deeper. Maybe they are as we speak right now, as I'm speaking, um, looking into certain people to interview. And hopefully you know, there's people that get the opportunity to really bring up and address certain questions and say, hey, look, yeah, we thought this was crazy too. But there's certain things that aren't lining up. So science isn't coming forward conclusively and saying, here's the facts. They're coming with just nonsense about ships go over the horizon and silly, silliness. So it's a time now to basically keep the scientific, the scientism committee, you know, accountable. Guys, really, are you going to bring Bill Nye, Neil deGrasse, or are you going to bring real credible people to show us verifiably this is the reality and this is not happening. This has been going on for a long time. People are asking the questions. They're not getting the answers. They're, all they're getting is ridicule, laughter, and silliness, uh, you know, from the opposing side. So, again, for me, this is Shaq, and, uh, you know, he was attacked, and now he's taking it all back. And what does it mean? I guess time will tell. But at this point, like I said, many, many people are running with this story, and they're still going to be very curious. Why, of all topics, would you troll someone on something so ludicrous? as flat earth. There's a million different things. There's gossip, there's rumors, there's way, way different ways to do this. And I just find it very interesting. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how this develops. But like I said, I don't look at this as, as bad. We'll see in time exactly what happens. And let's go with that. So, uh, hey, everyone, it's been a, yeah, exciting, you know, couple of weeks, all these developments happening. And uh, we're all in this together. It's like, ask those questions. Maybe post your comments on what you think is going on. Um, like I said, everything is all open and we can all take that you know, into account. Uh, but at the end of the day, like I said, this is blowing up. A lot more people are coming to videos, are doing their research, just like we did when we thought this was the silliest thing in the world. And yet one by one, all of our questions got answered. And the questions we had from science are not getting answered. And that's what it's all about. So, hey, I'm going to keep exposing the world's lies. Celebrate truth. John 14, 6. Blessings to you guys. Take care. either you know Shaq was joking around the question is why is he you know maybe to make everything look stupid the fact is he got massive amount of publicity I mean this is the type of thing the media does not report on this unless a big name comes forward so if he was looking to sabotage the movement in ways he basically made the grassroots movement grow even stronger in the sense that more people are going to be looking into it and coming across videos but let's go through this like I said I'm going to ask you guys what you guys think and again these are just my opinions I'm not saying conclusively this is what it is but I did. I'm joking you idiots that's the first part of the theory the second part is I said jokingly that when I'm in my bus and I drive from Florida to California which I do every summer it seems to be flat which I'm in my plane and we're getting ready to land and I open up the window and I'm looking at all the land that we're flying over it seems to be flat this world we live in people take things too seriously but I'm going to give the people answers to my test he said knowing that I'm a funny guy if something seems controversial or boom, boom, definitely have my theories on what's going on. And uh, let's read uh, a little bit more so we can kind of figure out what's going on here. Finally, some reason and sense on the flat earth thing. It's weird that they always basically put flat earth, you know, small f, big E. But anyways, I see this in all the articles. Anyways, finally, some reason and sense on the flat earth thing. After Kyrie Irving came out at the All-Star Weekend and said he believed the earth was flat, which some still believe, had to be part of some marketing campaign. Shaquille O'Neal followed up by saying he, too, believed that everything science tells us about the shape and physics of the planet is a lie. 
But now it turns out that on a podcast appearance, the big Aristotle says he was messing with people. Here's the transcription. Harger, what's going on with the flat earth thing? Are you just messing with everyone with that? O'Neill, no, the earth is flat. Would you like to hear my theory? Harbinger, yeah, tell me about it. O'Neill, the first part of the theory is... Well, the shack is back, and he's definitely taking it back. All his flat earth statements that he said. Uh, we have a title here from uh, CBS Sports. Uh, with the NBA, Shaq was apparently trolling everyone when he made his flat earth comments. Well, we're going to get into this article a little bit because there's really two ways to go on this. And I find it a little bit suspicious the way that uh, this is coming out. Now, don't get me wrong. 